Okay, guys, I'm back, and I don't actually know what happened. The, the game just said, fuck you, AI. Just, or UI. Just stopped working. Okay, we're just gonna run a long ways away. Okay. Just gonna run a long ways away now. Yes, I fucking can. Some help, finally. I thought I was dead. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. Cedric told me that two people went missing near the burnt mansion. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. I'm a medic from Edo, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb picking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! Rather than those here they were. Oh, the creep! Okay. And this is a side quest?
Wraiths. 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 <coughs> I remember them being easy to kill. And yet again, that was the first game. Everything was easy to kill. Guess they'll never learn. This is reminding me of Ted's face a little. Strength mutagen. So, it's a uncommon one? Damn you. Okay. 
Okay, so... That didn't work. <coughs> yes, I would like to load the last save, please. Damn you. Must pay you. Must pay you. Must pay you. Must pay you. Holy shit. Okay. How many more can there be? towards me. No way! Whatever happened here made quite an impression, even on those who are mad. No way! This is actually really Lee, fun. Lee! Leave me be! Away with you! Control yourself. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine, a sedative. No way! going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert? Lives. Listen, 
You and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. We're former soldiers, fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly <coughs> people, at the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilf guardian. He was desperate to win his freedom, and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Eden. We couldn't believe our fortune, thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner, drawing a map in the process. And we celebrated. Talked of how we would divide the treasure and took ever greater liberties with the patients. The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, Gridley. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the <coughs> lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before, when they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet and willing. Two nights later she slit our commander's throat and that was all we saw of her. And of the map, of course. The war was ongoing and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then. And Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance it still holds us in favor. <sighs> count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilfgaardian's corpse. No way! <coughs> Lee! Lee! Leave me no be! Way. Away with you! A wolf leading wolves. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return when none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts, so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. Okay. The floor. 
It's moving. It's creeping towards me. And? I met the Nilfgaardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade. Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. I already have. Come on, let me show you something. Who do I see? Remember me? Corpse man. Remember how I was torn apart bit by bit. Remember what you did with the people of this house. You deceived us! Crimes require punishment, and only retribution can lift the curse. I leave them to you. I need you no more. Let the feast begin, boys! Well, 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 what have we here? Up here.
<coughs> Thieves and say something, or did you just fart? Ready? My fuck this guy. Fuck this guy severely. Sincere apologies again. I'll ask you to... You've no idea how hot blind I'm. No, I need a... A fake. I act in that. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna look up on the wiki how to do this quest. Cause I've tried. Tried a few times. Oh, shit. Yeah. Sorry about that. I sent it tapped out. Nothing much came out of it. Ready? You never mentioned a blindfold. I like. Forgive me, but secrecy is essential. I'm cautious too. Only time I ever agree to be blindfolded is when I'm with a naked sorceress. Farewell. Wait. You're a tough nut, but have it your way. <coughs> I'll mark the lab on your map and expect to see you there. So pretty much this guy's just a big fucking pushover. Good. So I'm gonna get porked. That sounds like some sort of homophobic slur. Welcome to my... I'll ask you to be patient while my... You've no idea how... Blind I'm. I'm under the... No, I need a... Not good, Witcher. Trying to cheat me. Salamandra stragglers in Flotsam. Who would have thunk? Leave your weapons and come with me. Who are you trying to fool? Tend to this scum, boys.
kill him last. up all nice and close with the camera. It's, it's how I am. It's because I'm too lazy. I have this mountain up there. Oh, I killed the guy. Alright, time to torch the place. So that guy was genuinely Salamandra. Who'd have thunk it? Does that last for like a certain amount of time? Or is that permanent? <gasps> Please tell me it's permanent. I think it is. One permanent upgrade. <sighs> well, guys, yeah, I beat that quest. And I'm happy. So. Without further ado, I'm gonna end this here because that'll be the end of, I think, the third or fourth episode of the side quests. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.